Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Will and we are back with some more Cuphead today. Let's see how we struggle our way through this one and fumble to a victory. Alright, this is uh, my first time playing this game. This is part two. First part was two days ago. I have not played it since. Okay, good to know the percentage of which this is complete. I don't know if uh, the different level difficulties count towards that percentage or if it's just the overall like bosses and levels completed. Oh, I can switch here. All right, well, we did... Uh, I believe this is Cuphead. So this is Mugman. So uh, let's uh, switch up who we're playing for today. Ah. All right, we're going to have to get reused to uh, the controls. So yeah, we just unlocked... Oh. Wait. Does this mean I could have done this the whole time? I didn't even need to beat that. That was... Okay. Good to know for the future. <laughs> Alright. I'm assuming this is the boss fight. That will... Give us stairs to down there. Um, since I haven't played in a few days, let me uh, get used to the controls again. A few days, it's been one day. I haven't played in one day. <laughs> You're up. I am. Okay, and that was Dash. Why were those two so close? How do I get that one? Bad time. Okay, so Gamescom started today. Uh, personally, I did not find... Too many interesting things uh in the first day of gamescom again like a lot of the streams that have been happening lately have just been kind of like updates of what what we already know like call of duty like we all know that's coming out and all that kind of stuff uh there were two games though there which i tweeted out earlier today that i am obsessed with now and i'm 100 playing as soon as they come out um one of them i'm not sure about because it might only be on the ps5 but one was called Cult of the Lamb, which basically it looks like it's like uh, Animal Crossing, except with like a dungeon crawling turn to it, where the name Cult of the Lamb refers to the main character being a lamb and basically running a cult. So it's your followers that are building a uh, uh building a community which is where like the animal crossing comparison comes in both being animals and like building your own little but uh, uh own little town sorry it's hard to talk while trying to focus on this biz i'm not gonna make all right oh, good to know what the next that's about halfway okay good but yeah, like, it's all cutesy looking, except when it goes, like, into, like, you sacrificing cult members. And then it goes, like, really dark, but, like, everyone's still smiling and happy about it, which just shows how fucking deranged they all are. And it kind of reminds me of, what was it? It was that South Park. There's a specific name for them. The Cuddle Crew or something, where it's, like, a bunch of friendly looking Disney animals. Except they're all, like, Satanists and, like, doing blood orgies and stuff. It kind of reminded me of that. But, you know, a video game. So that looked super dope. And then the other one... Go 
focus here on this part. Nail it. Okay, how do these things work? Is it always just the tops? Oh, it alternates. How do I... Oh, okay, I could just shoot those guys out. Oh! Should have taken out the bottom platform. That was my fault. Um, The other one was called Doki V. D-O-K-V. And apparently it was announced a year ago, and I never heard of it. And, like, this morning the Twitter was only at, like, 5,000 followers. So it's like... The game looked amazing. There was a trailer put out a year ago for it. And it looks insane. So it's like, I don't know how I never heard about this game before. But it basically looks like... How to describe it? It's like anime style kid characters. And like they can summon like companion friends to fight and do battles. But the city and the scenery is like super realistic to like a ridiculous degree. So just think of like anime... Like, styled characters, but in a hyper-realistic looking world. And, like, that's what got me was, like, it's this small town that's just got, like, this really cool vibe to it. And, again, just, it looks so beautiful. Like, if you haven't seen the trailer for it yet, check it out. It's... Oh. Doken V. Donken V? Doken V? D O K E V. But. I was dumb there. I don't know. Now go. But yeah, it basically looks like you're a kid and like there's some sort of like AR aspect to it like in the game not in like how you play it where it's like these kids and they wear like these glasses or something which allow you to see like these different kinds of monsters and whatnot and you have to like battle them and it looks like action based and like there's a bunch of ways to get around the town where you got like a skateboard rollerblades running around it's just i don't know it's just like a really hard to describe game because of the art style it's anime like, the big round eyes, like, chibi-looking faces for kids. But at the same time, they're trying to make it... The entire world is hyper-realistic, and it looks like a town. And it's just, like, ridiculously good-looking. So I really can't wait to see how this goes. It did look kind of framey in terms of combat, but that's the type of game where it's, like, just getting it to, like, explore the entire town and area looks amazing. Uh, I couldn't really get a full grasp on how big the town was. But it does look like there are seasons because there were some shots of it in winter. But yeah, I don't know if it's a small town or if it's an island that we're on and we're exploring the whole island. But it looked amazing. No! Oh, I was so dumb. I just hit there. Oh! Oh, okay, so now I learned that, I can't go below the... Uh, that makes sense for old school games like this, it wouldn't follow you back down. Okay. But yeah, I... And I don't know, I'm just really taken with the game, just because of the visual style of it. I really dig, even though it's like... It's kind of the opposite of what I was saying when it came to... Uh, no straight roads where a lot of these games are trying to go super realistic. But it's just the weird combination of like the characters are clearly like anime inspired. But the entire world is just so insanely realistic looking. And it's the type of game where it's like you want a photo mode for this game. Dang it. Oh wait, can I shoot? I didn't even think. Can I shoot the woodpeckers? Now go! God damn it, it's that one. It throws me off a lot of the times. Ugh. 
the, that's what today was. And uh, yeah, a lot of updates to a lot of other games that we already know that's coming out. Whoop. Okay, so you could go down like one level, but if like you mess up and go down a little further than that, not happening. Dang it. I was hoping I could get on top of them, but I was way too low. It's on. But yeah, but uh, for Doken V, there are two trailers. There's one that they just premiered today and then one that they premiered like a year ago. But again, it's like a, like, I usually see like quite a few indie games like on Twitter and whatnot and hear about them through other sources other than uh, just the game streams that happened. So it's like, how has nobody heard of this game, especially with how the, the visuals look so amazing in it? God damn it. Little roly-poly bastards. They're getting me. Alright, hold on. Let me uh, check something. Uh... So I checked the Twitter like earlier today, like when it was live broadcasting. And they had about 5,000. Okay, wow, they're up to 8,000. Nice. Um, there's been some tweets in the last few minutes. Uh, it's an open world action adventure. And not an MMO. So apparently a lot of people were like wondering exactly what kind of style of game it is. Because it was mainly like exploring the world and showing off some of the combat. But we didn't really know what the uh, interactions with people would be. But yeah, there's a bunch of uh, screenshots and stuff up on their Twitter. IGN did a post about it. Yeah, it looks amazing. I'm sorry, I can't stop talking about this game. It's just like... You usually don't see a game this amazing come out of nowhere. Like, no hints about it. Or have it be like so deep in development where it's just like... It's literally finding an indie game that has the visuals of like a top tier... Triple A studio. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm distracted on it, but it's just like, good lord, how, I don't know how anyone like missed this. I'm thinking it's just the town and not like the whole region, I think, that you can explore because that's like, yeah, all the a majority of the picks are like at the city or right around near it, and it looks like more of a small townish kind of vibe, but it's like this weird, like semi futuristic looking. Kind of like how Splatoon is like now, but at the same time somewhat futuristic. And another thing I heard a lot of people talk about is how like the character animations, like the characters look like anime characters, but the character animations are so like fluid and good looking, it's very off-putting. So it's kind of like if you saw rotoscoping, which is where you take like a piece of film and then you draw over it to get the movement where it's like it looks like a cartoon but it moves like a live action piece it's kind of off-putting like that oh those aren't even safe okay i was thinking maybe the plain ones were Oh, okay, interesting. So I do have to go through all of them. I was wondering whether or not I could specifically hit certain ones. Oh my god! Damn it. Too many things happening at once. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a... It might be a Korean video game because it definitely had Asian vibes to it. It could have been, it could be Chinese, but I don't know. Something about it gave me like Korean vibes. I'm not sure. But yeah, good for them. They're blowing up all over the place. A bunch of people, like a lot of recognition over this happened. And again, like they revealed this a year ago and had a trailer that was just as good as the one we saw today. And it's like, 
Nobody heard of it. Actually, now that I'm saying that, it could be Chinese. That could be why nobody really heard of it, even though it's been around for a bit. Like, it hasn't been released on any platforms yet. And it was super vague. It didn't say when it's coming out. And it didn't say, like, what platforms it's on. It just showed it and was like, boom. So for all I know, this could be a PC exclusive kind of thing. Which would hurt my heart. It's on. But yeah, that was, like, day one of Gamescom. That was, like, the big thing that, like, stole the show were those two games. Token V and, uh... Cult of the Lamb. Which, I'm not big into Animal Crossing just because, like, it just... I don't know. If it's a game where all you really do is, like, build your houses and whatnot, I'm kind of checked out because that seems just a little too boring. It needs to have some more story to it. So having one where it's, like, those aspects plus, like, this weird cult angle and there's, like... Oh, I'm so bad at remembering which one's which. It's, uh... I don't know if it's a rogue or roguelite game but it's like one of those two where there's like a dungeon exploring aspect of it dang it dang it dang it i need to just take it slow there and try to like take out each one individually Ah, dang it. <laughs> Barely clipped the beak. Like that. Can't remember how to alt. Oh, I don't even have enough to alt, so that doesn't even matter. He just keeps spitting it at, like, just the right time. That's no fun. Dang you. Oh, I'm sorry, I was on Twitter for, like, a hot minute there. Alright, let's come back. Let's come back. Alright. Stream up. Chat up. <laughs> Completely ignoring it. Alright. It looks like we haven't even seen some of these characters on that little circle building right there. We saw the stumps and the flies, but we haven't seen like those little mosquitoes and... I don't know, what is that, a moth or something? Oh, dang it. God damn you, woodpecker. Ah. Uh. Now go. I don't know why I got hit by that. I saw it coming, and it's just like, I just grown numb to it, where it's just like, I don't even care. <laughs> okay, I just have to wait past the initial, and then I'm set.
Dang it. Once again, I saw it coming. I was... I don't even know what I was doing. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't even matter if I broke it. It's not like the uh, ball would disappear. I just wait after that one. So yeah, after that first set of two of them coming really close together. That hit. I so wish I had a Mario jump where it does damage. Damn it. I just can't get through all of them. You're up. I don't know. I feel like I like the boss fights more than I like the uh, platforming parts. But again, like I'm really not good with platforming parts in a lot of games. There we go. Yeah, well you can get behind them. Ow! Oh, that's a three stack. I didn't even... Alright. I think that's the farthest that I can get, is right there for now. And honestly, not even hard. Not even... Difficult. God damn it! I just need to focus... on these little flippy dudes. If I just do a regular jump, I'll clear it. Ooh. Ooh. What the heck? Oh, I thought I cleared it. to get up there i think there's a way to like jump on top of one another oh my god when you're uh, doing two player What? Oh my god. And it, it's it's an insta death? What? There's so there's like a little boss fight at the end. God damn it. Oh, maybe if I build up my alts all the way through, I can do just fire them off. That's probably what you need to do. Just build up your alt all the way through and just blast his ass at the end.
Mm -mm. I did not. I didn't. I did not see it coming. Okay, so maybe if I kill more of these bug dudes. They don't really seem to be giving out much anything. Bottom one takes so many more hits, it feels like. Why did I go for the jump? I'm a dingus. Yeah, you can't... It, oh my god, it's so hard to build up your alt. Oh my gosh. So you have more than enough room to do a standard jump across. What the fudge? God dang it, I hate that one. That freaking platform. Oh. <coughs> I'm an idiot. <coughs> the red balls that got shot out. I parry them, I'll build up more meter, that's probably what I need to focus on. But yeah, freaking disappearing platforms in the middle of a boss fight is something that I... Definitely on the top of my I hate this shit list. <laughs> Dang it! I couldn't jump and hit it fast enough. Do the parry motion. Mm. God damn it! Part of my brain just thinks if I hit the projectile, it will get destroyed. I don't know why I keep thinking that. Nailing it. Oh, I took an extra step after I jumped. That's what my issue was there. Yep. There we go. Gosh dang it. and I'm down to one life.
I didn't react fast enough. Okay, so we saw the end of this. Oh, duh, this will probably help. Oh, shit. Okay, so that bug came way out where it normally is. Damn it, I keep on holding down and then trying to jump up, forgetting that's the uh, pass down. Dude, if I just hit up, then I don't have to worry about it. All right. Total cheats way to get through this. Oh my god. This was the best thing I could have bought. <laughs> no! Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, well, at least now I found out how to get through there way easier without having to worry about any of the uh, other enemies. I'm just worried about that it won't take out the roly-polies when I need them to. Oh, taken out. Damn it! Not today, buddy. God, it's ridiculous how much easier this makes the game. There we go. Wait, no, no, no. I hit the dash button instead of the uh, EX move button. God damn it! It's on. Honestly, I can't even remember what the EX move was. Uh, controls. Okay, what was it? Shoot. EX move was circle button. Okay.
No! Oh my god, I'm a moron! God damn it! <laughs> I held down the wrong thingy! <laughs> Just like that! Oh man, I am so fucking dumb. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that's a good thing to know. I I did not know that those would pass right through to hit me. I thought it hits the bug and then stops. Well, good to know that. Set. Ah, damn, that was not killing that bug for some reason. I keep forgetting I can use the D-pad instead of the, um, thumbstick. I am so lucky that that did not count against me. Yeah, I shouldn't have even gotten on this platform. Don't even know why I did. Dang it. I had it so many times before. Tell me I got him. Bravo! Boom! Well, that took me 40 minutes. I am not proud of that. Alright, but we were getting the rest off the first few rounds, alright? <laughs> so I'll say that was a 30 minute time. Yeah, and that was us doing it slow. If we were actually proficient at platforming and dodging shit, we probably could have done pretty good at that. <laughs> You go, Mugman.
Oh, it just brings us the stairs down here, of course. And then, yeah, this goes... I don't know why this fish is here. Everyone always seems to... Well, I guess maybe it's for this. Okay, we got that. Then what's... Is there a bee? Or is it a living flower? Again, we're playing it on regular when I could do it on easy, and I just this don't know. Oh! Now go. Okay, so it's headshots. Okay, um, so there's that. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, it come oh, it's a boomerang. Hey, we made it for the first few rounds. Yeah, I don't get it's um this one's alt, the uh, green one's alt. The purple ones. Oh no, what do the purple ones do? He really just throws out a lot of stuff. Good day for a swell battle. It's on. Okay, I, maybe when he ducks down like that, that means he's always going at the bottom. Because I've only seen him do it up to the top once. Damn it, I can't seem to get it. I hate that boomerang so much. Okay, so yeah. He pulls back, obviously he's about to do that, but I was just wondering what the difference was. This one might be more advantageous if we have, like, that shotgun blast one. It can be, like, super close a lot of the times without having to f be afraid of, like, anything, really. Oh, dang. Damn it, I hate these things. I hate those ones. There's just that one up top floating I need to take out. And that's the one that comes from the pink berry, so I need to like parry the pink berry. Parry the pink berry. As the kids say. That's not what they say, no one says that. Alright. <laughs> Why did I do that? Mmm, I can't get the parry time. I can jump into it. But I just can't get the uh I just, mmm, the, the pink berry one, how it's floating up top, I just, it limits my jump r range, and it's just like, I do not like that. Ah, damn. There we go. Let's do a quick double tap on it. There we go.
Oh, dang it, the pink one's all the way over there. Dang it! We're only about halfway. Shit. Yeah, you have to stay on top of trimming all those plants. I'm thinking maybe if we get that shotgun one, where it's more close range, that will definitely help here. Alright, we also have this one, which I think we only completed on easy mode. I think this was the plain one. Hey, bro. Nope. Mm -hmm. Dang it. I saw it coming and I knew it was coming and it's just like still... Damn it. All right, I saw it come in and I didn't dodge him. I'm not gonna beat the moon. Crap. If I just had one more life. Ow! Budgie. Oh, Fudgy, we were so close! All right. This match will get red hot. And begin! <laughs> There's always something about, like, the first time I fight someone after a hot minute of being away that I always do way better than I do all the other subsequent times. Dang it. Oh, okay, we got it, we got it. Dang it. I had the timing for that. Totally wrong. Honestly, I prefer the twins than the uh, archer that shoots with the bow, with the heat-seeking, with the heat-seeking stars. It is indeed brewing. Dang it! I forgot about the back end. Ha ha's! God damn it, ha ha. All 
I wonder if I do more damage when I'm smaller, but it's closer range. Oh. I saw the parry at the last second. Why do I do so good my first try out, but then all the subsequent ones I don't? I think it's because I overthink it. I think that might be it. Ah, bungos. The more I play it, the worse I get. It's amazing. Here goes. How consistently bad I keep getting. Oh, that was a complete waste and a whiff. Every time I hear haha, I should just go down because I'm normally above. Down, down. I need to remember to go down. I keep thinking I can go up. Whenever she does the haha. -ha. Like, no, going up always screws me. God, thank God that was great timing. I'm trying to... It's hard to keep my eye up there. I'm trying to see if there's some sort of cue of when they're about to laser. I think maybe their lights go on when they're about to. Damn it. It baited me into it.
Okay, I don't know how that played out. I think maybe the tornado ate it. Damn it, nope. Yeah, there was this star at the bottom that I just didn't hit. Mm. We got this, we got this, we... Ah, oh, damn it. I couldn't make up my mind on which way to go. Damn it. I keep on not being able to make up my mind. I should not have been able to escape that. Beat it on regular, what an achievement. <laughs> Ooh. That was close. And we got the ro yep. We got the soul contract. So we got that, we got that. Um, I think maybe if we get all of the coins on these ones, we'll get like a special symbol on the flag, maybe? Right, and like I said, the shotgun might be the best bet on this next one. Oh, no, I keep forgetting. Yep, yeah, that's the one. I didn't even know I had that. Or this! Alright, let's see how this goes. This one. So these are the two frogs in the casino, which end up being a, uh... Here's a real high-class bout. You're up!
Okay, I don't know how good that is because I won't be able to track myself. I can definitely see how that's 100% helpful for the flower one because it's got all those other mobs around there. Dang it. For some reason my mind was just not thinking about the proper timing. this. Oh, we haven't seen the snake one yet. Oof, okay. The snake one can be rough. <laughs> Luckily, it's not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. But yeah, we saw a tiger and bull the other day. Dang it. Okay, I keep messing up the timing there for those ones. Um, the shotgun isn't at that useful on this one, I'd say specifically. A great slam and then some. Drinking his own milk. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I have a little extra time. Yeah, might as well. All right. All right, we're gonna return to the map. We're gonna try the flower again now that we have the shotgun on. And we have... I don't know if I should keep the uh, seeking bullets on. The run. All right, we'll try it on regular first, so we can unlock what we need to unlock, and then we'll uh, do it on the next. A great okay. slam and then some. It's on.
Oh wait, no, that was up top. God, why? Oh, I was gonna say, I'm getting lucky. No, I put it on easy. So it seems like all he does is purple seeds for easy mode. Here's a real high class belt. It's on. Oh, I can duck that, all right. God damn it, I can duck it, I can duck it, I can duck it. we were so close to the end okay so yeah it's in that final uh part that he starts spitting out all the different colored seeds i don't know how well the shotgun's doing though i don't know if that's like uh a... oh dang it i'm dumb just kill me yeah all right i don't know if the shotgun's actually doing more damage but it's closer range i can't really tell a great slam and then stop. Have they ever said what is in their heads canonically as a liquid? Because I'm assuming it's milk of some sort. Dang it, I keep getting too close with those hands. He's too handsy! Maybe it's more damage if all of them hit him. Yeah, that dash is fucking me up that I can't see. I don't know. Mm, I keep trying to jump dodge it. Butts. Here's a real high class belt. Now go. I just took more damage in those last two seconds I have in this entire goddamn game.
damn it. He just keeps on putting a bunch of seeds like right near the front of him. That I just mm, can't cycle my way through. Just spitting out those seeds, girl. Need to take it out. No! Oh, dang it. Damn it, see, two seats always go like right near him. Damn it. Just all those seeds. I need to parry. I need to parry those pink ones. Those aren't even the problem, but still. I keep saying I need to parry it, but then I never do. God damn it! She just keeps planting two seeds there. Is it just because that's where I'm standing? Oh my god, how... So close. Maybe it is because I was so close to him, he kept spitting seeds right in front of him. Maybe that's why I keep, I, is it, I am just keep screwing myself. Dang it. Dang, I don't know why. I keep on waiting an extra second to duck and that keeps biting me in the buns. Oh my god. This gun really sucks here. Okay. 
Oh, thank Christ, we got it. <laughs> yeah, the Seeker's good, but goddamn, it's so underpowered. I don't care. I just want to move on with my life. <laughs> I can't wait to see more characters. Because, yeah, I get this guy's an axe, but I don't know what this dude over up here is supposed to be. Is he a flask? Or, like, what what is he supposed to be? A thing at WD-40 or something? Because planes? I don't know. The die house? Oh, is this a... Wait, no, there's a bridge behind it. I was going to say, is this a gambling parlor? So, oh, oh, the the frogs. I missed the frogs. So I guess I do have to complete all of them. I wasn't sure. I was thinking maybe some of them were alternative. Or optional. Alternative. Optional. Like this one up here, it seems like we could get past it if we knew the secret route. Alright, we have... Okay, but what do we have in the shop again? We have that boomerang shot where it's stronger when you're shooting away. This one, we have the one more shot, the sugar cubes, and this explosion. I think I'm going to go for the one more heart. Goodbye. One more hit. One next. Uh, we're going to redo this. I'm assuming we could still collect the other coins, or do we have to get the coins that are missing? Yeah, I don't know how the coin system works for this when we're rerunning. Oh, fudge. So, yeah, there's no way to get the coins. I mean, how am I so dumb? I didn't even think of doing that. Oh my god, people must have been yelling at me so hard in the comments about that. Shit, I didn't even think about doing it like that. That's how you get that final coin. Well, now I know how to do this. Oh my god. Yep. My mind was just blown. God damn. No, that was on me being dumb. up that
No! Damn it. I almost had that one. Alright, with the shotgun makes so many of these levels way easier. <laughs> And yeah, now I know the trick to those. Oh my god, this level is so much easier. Why did I not think of that? They're pink! No! Ah, fudge. Those little blue dudes. Okay, now it's the little blue dudes that are getting me near the end. Like, it's the exploding acorns that suck and the little blue dudes on the logs near the end. I was running right into that one. Ah. Dang it. Yeah, I kind of screwed myself on that one. <laughs> I keep on mixing up dash with the alt. Boom! Okay, and we got the final coin. So does the flag change? I'm assuming the flag changes to maybe have a coin on it? Boom. A! I think that's our first A. Oh, the bolt changed the gold. Okay. Now we have two coins. Budgy Magoo. Alright. And over here was just our house, right? There was nothing else. Hmm. Can't get to that boat? Can we get our axe friend to clear cut some of the shit so we can get to our boat? Alright, so we're gonna need... Again, this guy.
I don't know what that there has to be something to that. I don't know if it's referring to the casino or if there's something more that we need to do with that suspicious looking coin. Alright, now let's uh I'm trying to think which one should I change? Uh, try that. Yeah, let's go simple just so we can get past this. I don't know. Does the boat take us somewhere? Oh, whoa, what? Oh, whoa, that's it? Oh, wow, okay, that is way shorter. Wait. When I'm shooting him and his fan propeller's going, that counts as hits, right? Or am I wasting hits and I just need to hit the uh, punching glove frog on the other side? The lighter green one. Okay, now let's try it on regular so we can get the contract. Okay, I was wondering if maybe the boat would unlock, like, us being able to go somewhere. Yeah, I, that totally threw me off when he started throwing those uh, punching gloves while the fan was going. Okay, we got 3 HP for here at this one. Okay, the bull, is that the fire? were we what oh my god so when they go simple they go hella simple we weren't even we still had a whole third left Here's a real high -class belt. Here goes.
Oh, dude, I totally forgot. With the coins, I could probably just phase through them. Okay, snake. God damn it. Budge hit me by a hair. Good day for us. Well battled. You're up. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. Once again, the more I play it, the worse I get. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? Oh, maybe... Hmm. It shows that I'm at the same spot last... Then, um, that one time where we got pretty far in with the, uh, machine. Maybe there's something I need to do with the machine that I'm not understanding. Or maybe I just need to make it through a certain number of waves. Oh wow, that was it. Alright. Damn it, snakes. Okay. Oh, that's what it is! I can do damage when it's doing that stuff, it seems like. Oh, I'm dumb. So, okay, every time it starts spitting stuff out is when I can do damage to it, it seems like. Alright, that's what I was doing wrong. Before I thought I just need to make it through a certain level of certain number of waves. Now I know. 
Okay, there we go. Which means I can hold up our super alt all the way until the end and just start firing those suckers off. No, wait. Oh, I didn't mean to ultimate alt. I just meant to do a single. Dang it, I messed. I screwed myself up. Dang it. Okay, I fired off, what was that, two alts on him? Plus a bunch of extraneous fire. If we do, like, if we hold off and do our ultimate on him, that should put him pretty close to death. Okay, we could do this. Oh my god, how did I not think of that? I was just hitting it, because yeah, I did try hitting it before I pulled the lever. And I just thought, oh, I can't hit it. Okay, there we have our ultimate move. So there, I just need to pull the trigger. Damn it! Oh my god, we have to be so close. <gasps> mm, dude, look at that! <laughs> we were there! Oh, I forgot I could fire down. That was a waste of an alt.
All right, we got this. You can alt right off the bat. Damn it, I messed myself up. Okay, so our super alt does about roughly half damage to it, it seems like. A great slam in that. <sighs> All right. Now go. Bull, 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 yes. Boom. Oh my god, I, I'm so sorry. I wasted so much time on that one not knowing that I needed to do that at the end. B, baby. With zero parries. What do I parry? Oh, yeah, the um, fire punch gloves. I believe that's the last one we need. So, yeah, I wasn't sure if there were going to be some extra bosses that we can fight for extra contracts. <gasps> I thought I saw something yellow glowing there. Damn it! And the heart, extra heart was just th three coins, I believe. God dang it. Alright. Coffee. Ooh, that seems. Coffee seems super good. Wow. All right, let's see what the heart replaces. Okay, the vanishing doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, I don't know what the specs are for the heart, where it's like, if you break it down, if it really matters how much damage you get taken away, or if it's a substantial amount overall. Where it will like really make a difference. The die house. You should have all of them now. I'm Mr. King Dice. I'm the game best in the Okay, so this is how we get to the next island. Wait. Island number two. Oh,
Grandpa? I want a prequel where were the where where the old man when he was young. Oh, it's a theme park. Of course. Okay, so he's hidden somewhere. The hell? Thank you for telling me how many times I've died on the first island, you ass. Okay, so that's a boss fight, it seems like. Boss fight. Oh, hey! Oh, sweet, now we have a weapon swap. Let's check out some of these. All right, well, what time is it? Oh my god. All right, time has really been flying. But it's... I thought we were still within the first hour. We're not. Here goes. I already forgot that we had the extra life. <laughs> oh, thank god, alright. I don't know if I have- I'm assuming I have to hit the faces. Too. We were on simple. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to use the bombs too much in this early section. What do all these flying knives have to do? No! Crap, I hit the alt button instead of the parry. I love the slap. It looks like they were mostly on the bottom for a lot of the second of the It's fucking frightening, my man. Just the tomb in general, or what? I don't know if I hit the, have to hit the red thing specifically, or the tomb in general. Oh, 
Oh, the freaking flying hats. We were already halfway, and I had two alts that could have hit. This cap do. Okay, it doesn't seem like I can hit the golden cats. Oh no! That was a waste. Those bombs are just, like super effective. Okay, yeah, we do have to hit the red guy, not just the tomb. Damn it, when I'm alting. We were so close, weren't we? Mmm, and I had two alts in the pocket! It's just every time I alt, it felt like the hat was hitting. I don't know what all the different colored ones do. Damn it. Yeah, god dang, it just... All right, there we go. Honestly, I wasn't disappointed about that one. Uh. Okay, that was on simple. I can't even imagine what regular is on. God damn this game. I hit the wrong one. I went all the way out to the menu, didn't I? I did. Okay, that was my bad. I did not mean to go all the way out there. But I do. We are uh, ending it, so I guess... Hit the mic. <laughs> I guess that's uh, good enough for today. We're at time. Uh, thank you, everyone, for uh, coming out and hanging out and uh, following if you did. And if you haven't, please consider. Uh, we are so early on in this game still. We made it to Island 2, which... Honestly, I'm surprised that we made it... Island 2 yet. I was wondering if there was going to be some more fights on Island 1. Yeah, I don't know if all the islands have, like, the same amount of enemies, or if, like, they get bigger as they go out, but, uh, I'm really digging this game. Obviously, visual style, which everyone says, is amazing. No duh. But the gameplay is super fun, even though it's not my, my super favorite kind of game, and I'm really not good at it. I still really enjoy this one. But god, that freaking, uh, slot machine i can't believe i didn't realize i could shoot it while those things were coming out of it but uh that would have saved so much time if i figured that out earlier anyway that is it for today tomorrow we're going to be continuing some more genshin impact we're uh right in the middle of the story we're going to be continuing that for inazuma it will be episode 100 of us streaming genshin impact so yay and uh yeah on friday we'll get back to more uh, Cuphead, see how far we get on Island 2. And uh, this weekend we'll be continuing near Automata, which I can't wait to get back into. Right now I'm just like playing like a lot of games that I'm super hyped on. Because Cuphead I've been wanting to play forever, and then after completing near Replicant, I really wanted to get into near Automata right away. So I'm super happy that we're going through there, and we're still super early on in that game. Uh, we're only four episodes deep, but honestly... Two of those episodes were, like, mostly side quest stuff. So we're not even that deep into the 
actual main story of the game. I'd say we're probably like an hour and a half, two hours into the main story. But yeah, I'm assuming we got a lot more to go. And uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you want to see any of my past streams, all my bods are over on my YouTube channel, which is the link down below. As well as a link over to my Twitter, where I tweet out every day when I'm online, when I'm playing. As well as any interesting trailers, is which, if you've watched this, you know I could not shut up about um, Doke V. Doken? Doken V? I don't know how to pronounce it. D-O-K-E-V. Uh, but yeah, some interesting stuff coming out of Gamescom, which I've been retweeting. Uh, yeah, that's it for day 358, coming up on a year soon. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will catch you guys tomorrow. If not, I will catch you guys on Friday where we will be continuing more Cuphead and our suffering will continue. Bye-bye! <laughs>